Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we are going to talk about ORM. Now ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. Now if we talk about Django framework, we have ORM there as well, which is Object Relational Mapper. But the concept remains same. So what is ORM? Now think about this. When you talk about the virtual world, we have two different stuff here. One is data because of course we want to work with data information. And on the other hand, we have application. So what is dynamic and what as a user we use is application to access the data. Actually, we want to use the data, but we cannot do that directly, right? Uh, so even if you want to fetch some data from Facebook, you need to use the Facebook application. So let's imagine as a user, you want to interact with a database and that database is sitting somewhere else. So if you want to interact, you need an application in between. So that means someone has to build that application. We will talk about that, but think about database now. So when you say database, database, if you expand it, I'm talking about the relational database here. So if, if you expand your database, database will be having some tables. So imagine if you talk about accounts, if you talk about products or shopping mall, so you will be having a product table, you will be having accounts table, and you will be having customer table. So when you talk about customer table, what it will have? Customer ID, customer name, customer address maybe, phone number. So if you talk about these four details, you will be having a table with these four columns. On the other hand, the moment you say application, if that application is built in any of the object-oriented programming, maybe C Sharp, Java, Python, uh, it will be having a class, right? That's how you create an object. So basically to create the object, you need a class. Now, how do you define this class here? So of course, you will be having a customer class and that customer class will have four fields. Customer ID, customer name, customer address, and customer phone number. So in database, the customer table has four columns. The class here has four properties. Now, if we try to relate more, we can have multiple objects of this class, right? So customer can have, let's say five objects or maybe 10 objects, your choice, uh, depending upon how many customer visit in your, in your shop. So let's say if you have five customers, every customer will have different name, different address, different phone number. So those things are stored in different objects. So every object will have its own data. Or maybe we can say every object has a different state. That's important, right? So state is basically the current values. So every object will have a different value. If you want to store this in database, in database as well, you'll be having a table. We have talked about that customer table. So in that customer table, one object represents one column, right? So the first row will be our first object data. The second row would be the second object data. The third row would be third object data. And how do we achieve that? How can you push this data from the application to the data database? And that's where we have this amazing concept, SQL. So we have to use SQL query. Okay, when I say you have to use SQL queries, I'm talking about a programmer. So as a programmer, you write the code. Okay, so you write the SQL code. Now, if you don't want to do that, if you say, hey, I don't want to work on SQL, it's a good language, but maybe I, I want to focus more on my application, not on the SQL queries here. So you can simply say, I got a class here. I don't even want to create that table there. That table should be created automatically. Is it possible? And the answer is yes. So the framework which you are working with, maybe if you are working on Django, if you are working on maybe Hibernate in Java, it has a power to look at your classes and say, okay, this is a class, I want to create a table for it. So look at the class name. So class name, let's say is customer. The table name will be customer. The class has four properties. Let me create four columns there. This class, so it depends upon how many objects you create. Maybe if you create five objects, I will have five rows there. The moment you create more objects and if you try to save them, it will create a new row in database automatically. And that's the power of ORM. Now this concept is not specific to any language. You can use it with Python. We have Django there, Django ORM. You can just use it with Java. We have Hibernate there. And maybe in some other language, we'll, have, we'll be having some more frameworks. So the important thing is ORM is an awesome concept where you can directly create your tables with the help of the classes which you create and you can add the data with the help of the objects you create. So that's ORM in general. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye.